has told of critics of the ongoing renovations at Uhuru Park grounds here in Nairobi. Speaking during an inspection tour of various government projects in the city, the head of state has said that the renovations are part of plans to change the face of Nairobi, as Patronila Goren reports. Speaking after an inspection tour of the eight-lane dual carriage Nairobi Expressway, President Uru Kenyatta said the expressway has created over 6,000 direct jobs, with over 200 subcontractors and hundreds of other local suppliers of building materials benefiting. We are changing people's lives. The number of people who have been employed in this project alone, as we have seen, exceed over 6,000. We have also another 200 subcontractors who have also benefited from this project. And those 200 subcontractors also have engaged and employed Kenyans. And all this we have achieved despite the crisis of COVID that we face. He further stated that the road is among many ongoing road construction projects in the city that accumulates to 420 kilometers. Once complete, the road is expected to ease road traffic and reduce travel time between Mlolongo and Westlands to 20 minutes. Many of you will just look at this project and say that this is the only project that we are doing. To date, again, having started just last year, we have done so many roads in our inner cities. Over 400 and some 20 kilometers of road that have been done in Madare, in Kibera, in Mukuru and in many other places to ease also transport for our people who live in these areas. Nairobians and visitors to Nairobi, there will be a very big difference because after it's finished in March, people will be taking 20 minutes only from the airport all the way to James Geshuru. The road which is being constructed under public-private partnership with the Chinese government is expected to be completed in March 2022. Patronila Goren for TV 47. Well,